What it do, family? It's your boy, the minister, the reverend, the chaplain, Jay Whitfield Inspires, coming back at you once again with another video. So, yes, I'm back in one of my favorite places. Y'all all know the library, so it may be a little loud in here. The sound may be a little off. I'm going to try to fix it. The audio, all that good stuff. So if it's a little off, the sound sounds a little weird. Just know that it's because I'm in the library and I don't have a lot of mics and things like that. So also uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and hit the join button to join uh, the membership. Because like I said, I'm going to be putting out different videos, more personalized videos and uh, exclusive content. So you want to be a part of that. So now let's get into. Oh, also, if you want to talk to me about your personal situation. Uh, hit the link in the uh, in the description so we can discuss on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So now let's let's talk about this. Um, why is your connection with a Virgo man so deep? We're going to be discussing that today. You know why the com the connection you have with a Virgo man is so deep? You know I talk to a lot of uh, ladies during private sessions and things like that, and. Uh, the conclusion I come to, or the understanding I be coming to, is that they have some different connections, some very deep, intense connections. And I, and I go through this myself. You heard me talk about these things over and over in different videos. So one thing is that, you know, Virgo is, is a, a mutable sign. Virgo is an earth sign. You have to understand that. So um, those who are earth signs, Capricorn, Virgos, and who else? Somebody else. I forgot. You know, I'm losing it. But Earth signs typically are grounded, right? They're grounded. They are stationary. They don't. They don't like to do a whole lot of this and a whole lot of that. They're very subtle. They they very anchored. So so uh, Virgos are very anchored, especially especially the Virgo men. And women tend to like men that are anchored, anchored by nature, right? Even if his life is a little chaotic his spirit his energy is still anchored you know another um explanation would be you will see people talk about why do women like bad boys this and that one of my understanding is that it's not, the, not necessarily the fact that he's a bad boy is that some of those bad boys quote unquote they exude a lot of masculine energy you know a lot of uh fearless energy and the feminine is is attracted to the masculine. That's just how it is. So although they might be doing a whole lot of negative stuff, it's that energy. Same thing. While a lot of guys, good guys or whatever, they be attracted to women that maybe strippers or exotic dancers or Instagram models, how everybody trying to say. You know, is the reason because although these women may be doing things that we don't we don't approve of, her sexuality, her femininity is being exuded. And so that part of her is speaking out to the masculinity of a man, even though she might be doing this, she might be doing that. It just kind of is it's, it's a way of life. It's nature, you know. So this is why women tend to like Virgo men, because their energy and their spirit are very grounded. You know, most Virgos are, are leaders by nature. You know, most Virgo men are leaders by nature. It's kind of what they do. So another thing would be. Uh, and, oh, and also they're a mutable sign that means Virgos are very adaptable you know, they can adapt to situations they listen and, and they are very intense so you really get to know a Virgo man you start to understand that this guy is very intense he's very spot on with his word he's very intellectual he's very caring you know and he's very mysterious women like mysterious men all these things are a part of who a Virgo man is right and he don't necessarily try to be this way to impress somebody it's just who he is you know so now based on whatever your sign is your sign and your energy is going to connect with him in different ways you know to further break that down because like i said because women tend to like men that are grounded that are leaders and all that good stuff who you are as a woman is going to be attracted to that and then based on your sign is going to be even more attracted to that. So you got like a double whammy of everything that's kind of being pulled towards this Virgo man because it's kind of speaking out to who you are. And then y'all interactions, you know, you and the Virgo man, you know, as y'all start to interact with each other, do things, you start to see more of who he is. You start to like it. You know, it's nature. It's not nothing bad. It's not nothing really like astonishing. It's just nature, you know. But still, though, why is the connection so deep, you know? I believe it just it's just who the Virgo is, you know, um, Virgos are very charming. 
they are very loving. You know, once you find out about him, you start to see that he cares in a different way. See, women are very powerful. Women are very intuitive. They have a women's intuition, you know, and also their emotions. I know we talk a lot of negativity about a woman is too emotional, this and that. And, and some of that can be true. However, uh, um, a woman's emotions, a lot of women think with their emotions. And that can be good or bad, but uh, they think with their emotions, which means they can see a lot of stuff emotional. Like things that men are going through or people are going through, a woman can look at it, listen to it, and figure it out emotionally. You know, this is why women are the best nurturers on the planet. You know, they, they built to be nurturers. No, that doesn't mean that's your only thing, but it's, that's your nature. It's just who you are. It's, and it's an amazing thing. So a woman, she can look at a man, listen to a man and almost heal him, you know, or if she can't heal him, her desire to heal him is so great. And that's another point. Virgos have a lot of issues. You know, we don't like to act like we, we act like we don't have no issues, but we have a lot of issues. You know, we have a lot of anxiety. So I believe that the women talk to them, they kind of fall in love with it a little bit or they fall they, 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 they fall strong for it for him and they be wanting to help him they be wanting to help him you know they just want to help him get to another level and just get to where he needs to be because they they can't help it themselves they want to and they just kind of they get in, they get maybe a little too invested you know another thing Virgo men tend to be very uh, I always say they be very caring but he also listens to you as a woman you know although it's hard to get around a Virgo man it's hard to be with him as far as like time and attention, you know, excuse me, when he is around you, nine times out of 10 is very loving. It is a, is a great thing. And Virgo's gonna show you a great experience. See, when you're around a Virgo, y'all gonna have a great, great experience. I, I, I can't name too many women that I've dated in my entire life that she didn't have a great time with me. You know, of course there are some, but I'm, I'm just still a random made up number. If I dated 10 women, yeah, I'm gonna say eight of them had a wonderful experience. You know, whether it worked out, whether it worked out or not, they had a wonderful experience. Because me personally, I think most Virgos are like this. We aim to give a woman a great experience. You know, we all about experiences. I mean, money and stuff that's cool. You know, words and stuff that's cool. But one thing you don't forget, you don't forget experiences. That money gonna be spent. That fool gonna be gone. But those experiences gonna live with you forever. You know, what that saying by our great sister, ancestor, Maya Angelou, people, I'm going to say it wrong. Y'all know I'm going to say it wrong. People may forget what you said, but they would never forget how you made them feel. You know, and this goes for good and bad, too. So uh, I, I know me personally, I'm a even though I'm introverted, I am a very outgoing person, you know, but I like to be I like to do outgoingness on my terms. And so. If a woman's with me, not add her to my life, so to speak, or she's in my circle, or she's in my energy, I'm going to make sure she has a good time. You know, I'm telling you, if if I could uh, just pull out a women I dated, whatever, and you ask them without my knowledge, without me talking to them, I think that most of them would say, yeah, we had a great time together. We had a great experience. We did this, we did that. And that's who I am. If y'all follow my Instagram at jwithfeelinspires, you know, shame for plug. You'll see, I'll be all over the place doing everything, you know, and my, most of how you do it by myself. Sometimes I have friends with me, but when I do add people with me, the experience is great. You're going to have the time of your life with me. You're going to have the time of your life. You are. And I know women who we, we just make it happen. And it's, and it's all good. It's, it's not like no pressure. We just have a good time because I'm all about a good time, you know. And so that's another reason why, you know, y'all connection is so deep. Like Virgo men tend to treat you very nicely. They, they treat you very caringly. And they, and they see the little things in you. Conversation, most times the conversation, when y'all get to that level of conversation, uh, the conversation be really great between you and a Virgo man, you know? And you find yourself falling for him deep in conversation. Before you know it, you're like, yo, I'm, 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 really, I'm really in deep with this dude. Well, what is it? And, and some of this stuff I can't answer. Like, I, I talk to people all the time, they tell me, yo, I don't know what it is about this Virgo man, but I just can't get him out of my system. You know, and the funny thing is, this, a lot of time, this before um, anything sexual even happens. This is how I know, you know. Like my best uh, companionships, friendships, relationships with women have been the ones where, you know, we didn't even do anything. 
You know, because like Virgo, they really all about connection. They're all about the bond. They're all about getting to know the person. And this is another thing why your connection with a Virgo man is so deep because Virgos really want to know who you are. They really do want to get to know you. Although they be busy, although they like to be by themselves a lot, they still want to get to know you. They still want to know who you are, who they're dealing with. Because if you're going to be in my circle, if you're going to be in my energy, I got to know who I'm dealing with. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. And so that time that Virgo take to know who you are, I believe that's very special to women. Because in these days, a lot of guys don't really take time to get to know a woman. They just want to, you know, they just want to get the buns, you know, and move on. You know, and that's cool, I guess, you know. But Virgos actually like to be, you know, have a good time with you. They, like, they actually like to know who you are. And so all this just kind of adds up. I, yeah, I got so many stories. People say, oh, you must have dated a lot of women. I mean, I, I've dated, I've dated, you know. And so, see, some of these stories I've been pulling from, it be the same woman. We just have different, we just have so many different experiences, you know. And I also pull from things that people tell me. I, I also pull from things I've seen, you know. So, like I, like I said before, Virgos are very knowledgeable of things. And I love talking about relationships. So I, I pull from a lot of, I pull from life. Well, yeah, I dated. I've been, I've been dating college and things like that. So every every woman I dated didn't end bad, or I mean, I even been in a relationship. We may have been going on dates and you know dating or being around each other, flirting for a long time and things like that. You know, and for whatever reason, may have just went our separate way. Timing may have been a factor. Uh, all kind of stuff. You know, so everything. Every time something ends, it don't. We don't have to be enemies. I I, I know. There's one, one chick I dated. Here I go with another chick story, right? One chick I dated, uh, we was in college together, right? But we didn't date in college. We knew each other very well in college. We always, always were cool with each other. But it was like after college where, you know, we, she was around, I was around. You know, she's like, yo, what, what's up? I'm like, oh, what's up? And we just kept going back and forth, you know, just talking and flirting. And I'm like, you know what? Let's go out. You know, we, so we, went, out on, we, we went out on two days. It, and it was great. But it wasn't. It wasn't meant to be. Like the vibe, the the romantic vibe, just wasn't there, you know. And I thought it was weird because she was a very beautiful. So I seen her. I seen her go from, you know, being a, just a not a little girl, but being a young woman in college. We all trying to figure it out in college, you know. All of us are just kind of raw looking, you know, coming becoming a woman, becoming a man. From that to, I saw her bloom into a grown woman. I was like, oh, she, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? She was looking good. She got her business going. You know, I, I really saw her coming come to her own as a woman. And she saw the same thing with me. So, you know, it was just a beautiful thing to see that. You know, it was a beautiful thing to see that. And, uh, but for whatever reason, uh, we went out. We had a great time, you know. We had a great time. But, like I said, the romantic energy just wasn't there like I thought it was. She noticed it, too, you know. It was like, you know. Let's just stay friends, you know? And we really said that, you know, we both were feeling that. And it was just kind of weird, honestly. I was totally surprised that it was like that. But we, we, we were still cool. Uh, it, it wasn't nothing negative. It wasn't like, oh, he did this or she did that. Nothing bad. It was just sometimes it's like that. And that's why you date sometimes. Sometimes you date, you figure it out. You might like somebody else say she's fine or he's fine. You go out, you're like, you know what? Nah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like that sometimes. I think that's beautiful. You know, and, and it's cool. But um, anyway, that's just a side story of, of dating and things like that. But anyway, back to the main point. Uh, the connection with Virgo men can be deep like that just because, you know, like I say, Virgo men, they speak to the heart. They get to the heart of the matter. You know, like I, and I already said about the caring thing. And they just pay attention to detail. These are technical people. They, they down to the minute detail and they protection. You know, they love to protect. They love to provide. Broken man, they, they really are genuinely from the heart type of people. You know, and I think women feel that genuineness um, from them. Because this is what I've heard during my life, during my time in dating and things like that. You know, I'm not I trying to be a player or trying to manipulate women. It just, these are things women have told me, you know, and these are things that I see from other people. And I know this about myself. And it, it just through living life and talking to women and dating, uh, we talk about certain things and they tell me, okay, this is what I feel from you. This is my experience with you, you know, and things like that. And so I, I pull from all these different things. I think it's interesting that they say these things and I see it too. Sometimes they don't have to say it, I see it, you know, 
and I can feel it because we, we are very intuitive, you know, and Virgo's going to keep it real with you. I think that a lot of women like that, you know, uh, they, they, they like that, you know, and also let's go back to the energy part of it. Uh, I think the energy and the connection, I was just talking to somebody about this type of thing, the energy and connection between, I'm at the library, y'all, there's a big window right here, so people walking by and it's like very distracting. So I'm trying to stay focused, you know, the ladies walking by anyway. Um, the energy and connection between you two can be very great, especially depending on who you are and depending on the sign. However, and not, not however, to go along with that, it's your individual, also your individual connection with him, like your um, chemistry. I was just talking to somebody about chemistry. You know how people say, oh, it's just the chemistry, but it really is the chemistry. Your energy mixing with his energy and it just makes something, it makes something new and beautiful. So energy is very, very real. And I think that a lot of women feel that certain energy from Virgo men. And you can tell too as a woman, like for example, I've had, uh, when I date Capricorn, our energy is very high, right? It's, it's, a, it's a different type of mysterious, beautiful, professional, uh, attractive type of energy. They care a lot. You know, so our, our connection is different. When I date Leo, me and Leo's have a very passionate energy. I don't know what it is about Leo's, but Virgos and Leo have a, a very strong, passionate energy. And it, it, just, it just goes, it goes the way it goes. Me and Cancer, see Cancer have a loving energy. I'm not gonna name all the signs, I'm just naming the ones I kind of know. You know, Cancer has a very loving energy and things like that. So it just depends on the energy and, and, and it takes its own, it takes on its own life. And that, that chemistry, you mix these things together and you get something brand new, you get something amazing. And you, you go to places that you haven't really thought that you would be going to with the Virgo man. So this is this really why the connection with Virgo man is just so deep and you can't get rid of it. You know, it, it's just like that. And some of the stuff I can't even explain. I have to, I, but all I say is when I've been in serious relationships and in situations, man, our energy is, is always, you just couldn't get rid of it. It's girl I dated back in college one time. She was a Leo and for years could not get rid of her energy out of my life. I don't know what it was. You know, I just, I just couldn't get rid of it. We both had a different connection. She was the same way. I, we were, I mean, we were cussing each other out, you know, um, fussing each other out, all kind of stuff. We, we, I, we just could not, it was very toxic, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it just couldn't get it. Sometimes we come back together like, yeah, I don't know what it was. But to me, it's interesting. I like I like to investigate things like that and understand like what's really happening. Then we actually talked about it, you know. And there's a lot of more stuff like twin flame, all kind of stuff. It's, it's, it gets very very deep. But I just like to say, when you link up with somebody and you start to get close to them, you start to create a certain bond. And Virgos are all about bond. So you want to if you don't want to be close, if you don't want to have a bond with a Virgo, don't get close to them. Don't start talking to them. Don't start going out with them. Don't start being his friend if you don't want to bond. Cause that bond is gonna that bond is gonna form whether you want it to or not. It's just gonna be that. You know, and it's gonna grow and grow like a seed. That's another this is the last point I'm gonna make. Y'all connection is deep like that because it forms like a seed. And it's nurtured like a seed and it grows and grows and grows. And as it grows, your connection with him grows with it. It's like a vine. It get latched on, latched on, latched on, latched on. You ever seen uh, a vine that you you can, those of you into plants like me, you know, you can sort of vine out really small, attach it to like a moss pole or attach it, to, attach it to something. And over time, that vine grows and grows and grows. It latches onto that pole or it latches onto that tree. And it's very hard to take it off. It's very hard. You have to really rip it off, you know, and it, it just latched on it. Over time, the roots get deeper and deeper. So that's how it is with you and Virgos. Like it just your energy latches onto him. Your attractiveness latches onto him. Your friendship, your bond, it latches onto him. And you may not be thinking about this consciously, but when it separates or when it goes apart, you feel it. You feel the the, the connection rip away and it hurt it hurts. You just find yourself very close to this guy. You know, so just hopefully that'll give y'all some insight why your connection is so deep and different with this dude versus other people. It's a real thing. So you know, I think it's real, but there's so much I can say about this. You know, I probably would write some stuff down and come back and visit this topic later, but it's a very real thing. 
and this is one thing I'm still investigating. So, you know, so in the comments, man, y'all tell me y'all experience with Virgo Man and Connection, why you are so deep. And like I said, if you need to talk to me about your personal situation, hit the link in the chat or in the description. But yeah, I want to hear about it, y'all. Like, let me know y'all connections and why. Like, what, what stories that you have? You know what I'm saying? I, I really want to know. You know, I do be reading the comments and stuff like that. When I have time, I'll be reading. But anyway, <sighs> hey, get a out. I'm about to go do some stuff, finish some typing up some stuff. And y'all holla at your boy because we are out and continue to like, share, and subscribe, join the channel and membership, all that good stuff. We are out. Yes, sir.